Video number eight left us with this situation where we had, uh, for example, the floor di diagram, uh, and uh, we had, uh, in certain cases, allocated some resources by double clicking on the activity and going into uh, the dialog box here and going looking under resources. And we uh, allocated a contractor and uh, workers and the quantity of workers. Some of them had performance uh, factors on, others didn't. For example, this laborer doesn't have a performance factor because the laborer is uh, working uh, as a support for this uh, team of three uh, concrete workers. So he doesn't actually force the project forward. So once we've allocated resources, uh, we can click and go next, and then we can see the next one is the inner walls. In this case, it must be the inner walls here, because you can see the title or the uh, name is the same. And here we have a, uh, a concrete contractor, and uh, this is actually incorrect because uh, this particular inner wall is made of brickwork. So, um, um, so I'm just going to uh, uh, double click and I'm going to delete that and double click and delete that again on the quantity 2 and also this one. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to um, put in a new uh, contractor. Um, and I'm going to put in uh, MS for masonry. Or oh, actually, I'm going to use brickwork here. Click OK. And uh, we now have, let's say, two bricklayers here. Uh, and I'm going to click uh, OK and Next and go on to the next one. And in this case, it's outer walls. And again, we're going to use the masonry contractor. And I'm going to put uh, two guys on there too. And click OK and Next. And so on and so forth. So if we now look at uh, the, um, the different um, contractors, etc., um, we should we we should in fact have all the uh, different uh, um, resources in place. Uh, if I click OK and Next, just to check them. So now we have um, bricklayers and uh, outer wall bricklayers, carpenters for doing the roofing. Uh, the plywood cutting also carpenters and uh, uh, the truss mounting three carpenters and doors and windows etc. So everyone should be in place uh, right now um, um, and uh, we have a, a schedule, a plan which uh, is now respecting the number of actual hours of working with uh, different Teams. Uh, the next step would be to go in and to do uh, to close this down uh, by this to that and go into the uh, the define 3D simulation and uh, that is uh, what we'll do now. Let's start by uh, setting up a new 4D group set which we'll give a name. Um, This. Next step, uh, we can have some concrete works. And it has a color here. Uh, masonry works. Carpentry works. And you can see the different uh, color scheme here. Uh, we can change colors um, in that way. Actually, when I, when I say carpentry works, I think I'm going to have roof works here. And uh, find the completions. 
windows, etc. Like that. Because those are the most distinct parts of this project. Next, I'm going to take the foundation works here and uh, I'm going to bring them in on the concrete works. Because obviously, they're made of uh, concrete. And the walls, I'm going to pull in on the um, masonry works here. And the train slab also, I think uh, I should bring on the concrete works. Yeah. Uh, roof construction on the roof. And uh, completions here on the windows and doors. So if I look at it now, I have this uh, different color-coded system here. Obviously, this is going to have uh, uh, the same color um, because of the choice I've made. Uh, well, now, once I've done this, go into export 4D, and the view will presently open. Um, just zoom in, maybe we'll see our view. And go in here and click uh, the Via House project. And we can uh, go in and click settings here and uh, take this way away. Uh, show un unassigned 3D elements, on, uh, the ones that I haven't assigned, I don't want to see. And uh, use the cat color code. And uh, click OK. You notice now that uh, only the things that were actually planned are now showing up, like the foundations, the floor, the outer walls, the completions here. Uh, the gable was not planned, so it's not showing up. I'm going to uh, click the legend pane here and uh, I'm click play. You can see the date uh, here as the different uh, items are shown in color code, or the color code we chose. And if we had made zones, different zones, and uh, the different parts of the same structure would be shown in the uh, the different zones and it's quite quite slow at the moment because uh, certain activities have to be done uh, but this is a good way of uh, showing the process of the the building uh, through uh, the different phases uh, of construction and uh, another in this uh, particular part of the project uh, regarding uh, uh, the 4D simulation, which, as I said before, can be used for analyzing the processes to be done in the future on the execution of the project. And it's a good idea to have a team of uh, workers who are working on the project to look at their processes before they're actually done on site. 